Thank you, thank you very much, uh, Deputy Speaker. We stand here as the economic freedom fighters to dismiss the ideologically bankrupt and intellectually lazy notion that free education for all is impossible. It is possible, and we're going to illustrate to you, Honorable Zimande, how you can achieve that. And I hope Honorable Manamela and uh, Manana are going to listen attentively. Look, the statistician general has just said now that in 2015 we spent 63 billion rands on higher education for the 985,000 students. So that is 63,000 rands per student per year. The parliamentary budget office illustrates that over the next years that amount will increase by 10%. That will be 73 billion next year. 83 billion in 2018, 93 billion in 2019. And, 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 and that amount of money can be sourced from basically three sources. Currently, as higher education, you're contributing about 27 billion rands to higher education as direct subsidies. And then you've got an additional 9 billion rands that goes through NSFAS. We can retain that or increase it uh, towards 1% of the GDP. Uh, higher education contributing must be 1% of the GDP in South Africa. You will know what numbers those are. But the most important source that we want to speak about, a novel source of funding fee-free higher education in South Africa, is to introduce an education levy in all the pension funds. So the delayed salaries of workers in the public sector, in the private sector, amounts to about four trillion rands. That amounts to four trillion rands. So if you take 2.5% of that amount annually, it will give you 100 billion rands. And that is going to save the people who are the pensioners themselves, the teachers, the nurses, the doctors. Because that money is currently being managed by an asset management company owned 100% by the state called the Public Investment Corporation. And it uses that money to gamble in the money markets, to buy government bonds, and but also to buy shares in JSE companies, but also in private equity. Now recently, PIC bought about six, six billion rand stake in loan mean. Now recently, PIC uh, just transferred 9.4 billion rands for a 2% stake in Stainoff, which is owned by one of the biggest capitalists, Christo Vici. And th th these are the monies which are there. These are monies of workers. Why don't we mobilize society as political leadership that we can take 2.5% of the pension funds, of the delayed salaries of workers, and then we'll give that to fee-free higher education. And we then have to deal with the expansion of the system. The Statistician General just said now that the system is constipated, it's inefficient, it's ineffective, and it's unnecessarily costly. So if you have got 100 billion from the pension fund education levy, you have got the 31 or 33 billion that you are, you are, you are, you are transferring through NSFAS or direct subsidies, you have got already more than 130 billion rands. And then you increase the corporate tax you are going towards 160 billion rands. In a manner that can be sustainable, then you can be able to expand the system, create a scholarship for students that want to study outside South Africa. Make sure that even at the postgraduate level, students have got access to fee-free education. And that does not disrupt your fiscals because already you have made lots of commitments to social grants, to healthcare, to education. This is a comprehensive input that we can look into. And we have written it down, Honorable Nzimande. We hope this time you look into it Honorable and learn from us, like Honorable. you always do. Thank you very much.